this is our new Razor Fit driver. It's our first adjustable driver, so it's a really exciting entry for us into the driver market. It's got two types of adjustability, and on our point of emphasis with this driver was to keep the adjustability simple. We wanted it to be easy for the consumer to use. We wanted the adjustability to matter, so when a, when a golfer makes a change, we want them to notice a difference in their ball flight. And we weren't willing to compromise performance in any way to get that type of adjustability. So there are two types of adjustability. Uh, with the hosel, we can adjust face angle, so it'll come in a square setting. We also can open the face from there or close it from there. And we have two draw bias settings, so it'll come with a neutral weighting with a 12 gram weight in the toe and a two gram weight in the heel. And by switching those weights, moving the 12 grams to the heel and the two grams to the toe, uh, we, we get a, a draw configuration. So for us, what it allows us to do is really provide the performance that we had with Razor Hawk in a draw and a neutral. We have two separate offerings in Razor Hawk in one driver. So we haven't made compromises to the performance, but we've added adjustability. So this driver features a forged composite crown. Uh, we introduced forged composite last year in, in Razor Hawk as well as Diablo Octane. It's back again for us this year. We use it in the crown of this driver to help reduce weight from that area where the weight is not very effective and reposition it elsewhere in the head to enable the adjustability and to optimize the, the mass properties of the club head, to make it more forgiving, to get the center of gravity lower for a better, more penetrating ball flight. So Forge Composite is, is a big part of this driver and what makes it different from some of the other adjustable drivers that are in the market. We also have a new face technology, so we call it Speed Frame Face Technology. This is a combination of our hyperbolic face pattern and our VFT patterns from the past. And what it allows us to do is maintain ball speeds as we move away from the center of the face. So the center of the face tends to be the hottest spot on a given driver, and that's capped. How hot we can make that spot is capped by the governing bodies. So what we want to do is make the places as you move away from the center behave more like the center of the face, so we can make those hotter and make ball speeds more consistent across the face.